Uh, hey guys, I'm back playing uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I haven't been doing a video on this since um, 0.15.2, uh, so that's obviously uh, before EVAs and more recently before the new planets and uh, moons were added. Right now we are in orbit around Eve, or rather around Gilly, which is a moon that's in orbit around Eve, and I'm going to try to do something that I've never tried before, and that's to um, land a Kerbal on the surface of Gilly, uh, have them wait there for about the two hours in game that it takes for uh, a ship to orbit around it, and then have them still in EVA uh, with their EVA packs return to the ship. Now I've seen a Scott Manley video that said with just a jump, uh, a Kerbal can reach about 120 meters of height uh, on Gilly because of the very low gravity. In fact, that's why we're moving so slow. Um, I came to Gilly kind of by accident, but um, I figured this would be a good time to test it out. And actually, with the low gravity, I might even be able to return to Kerbin. Uh, so what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to wait until we're over that mountain over there, and once we get near it, uh, I'm going to send Bill here, our mission commander. He's going to go to the ground, and uh, he's just if we make it, we'll chill out there for two hours. I'll probably skip or fast forward the video, and then we'll see what happens from there. Let's wait until we're over it. Time warp. Now, normally, this would, on, a pl on a moon like Minmus, this would be a lot harder to do, but as you can see, we're only moving at 18.7 meters a second, so this isn't all that tough on Gilly. Jumping, and we're going to deorbit ourselves, but we're also going to be moving backwards, and it really won't take much fuel to get us going pretty much straight down. Let's just make sure we got this. Wow, what direction am I facing? Whoa, that is a seriously high apoapsis, but it doesn't matter. in now. There's our ship overhead. Now several kilometers away. And I'm wondering, I have had ships torn apart by the, uh, what do you call it, by the, um, you doing okay there, Bill? I have seen ships torn apart by the, uh, what do you call it, by the physical warp. So I'm not sure if I want to, I'm going to quick save just in case. Not sure if I want to try it with um, a Kerbal, but yeah, why not? I don't know how high above sea level this mountain is, so I'm a little bit nervous. I've never even done a successful rendezvous around Kerbin before. I mean, once I was able to get two Kerbals between crafts, but it was n it was actually pretty messy. Uh, it was mostly luck. Uh, I wish there was a speedometer for Kerbals, uh, for EVA Kerbals, I mean, but we should be okay now. Uh, we've used up more fuel than I'd like. We may not make it to the top of the hill, or mountain, I don't even know, I don't know how high above sea level the top is, like I said, or, well, not sea level, but, um, <laughs> sea level in this is judged as, um, the lowest point on a body. I think we'll be okay. How's that looking? Whoa, we're actually gonna escape. That's how little gravity there is. Let's bring us down. Okay. Now we're headed pretty much straight down. Uh, I'll skip forward a little bit again. Okay, and we're back, and wow, this is so slow. Uh, at this speed, honestly, I think we'll just be able to um, 
go straight at the ship when it comes back around. We're only 7.4 kilometers away, that's how... Alright, coming in for a landing now. Just a little bit more... Oh, wow, we have spent way more fuel than I was expecting. Scott Manley freaking returned from this thing uh, in an EVA pack, so I know this is possible. Don't want to spend more fuel than I really need to. Okay, I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. And... Touchdown! Okay, so, uh, congratulations... Whoa, you bounced from walking. Uh, congratulations, Bill Kerman, in my game at least. You are the first Kerbal to walk on Gilly. Uh, nobody on Eve yet. Although, uh, Bill, or no, Jeb, is over there orbiting it at uh, 900 kilometers without fuel. Uh, so I'm going to take a hike over there to get to a higher point, and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm now where I want to be, uh, and basically the plan is to wait for it. Oh, there's Eve in the background. Basically the plan is um, to wait for the ship to come all the way around, uh, which will take about an hour in game maybe two hours and uh, obviously we're gonna skip through that and uh, then we're gonna go straight up uh, and hopefully not get smacked into by it uh, but we'll back up a little bit and uh, try and uh, rendezvous with it so Now remember, this thing's only moving about 20 meters a second, so I think even if it we burn straight up and it hits us, I don't think anything will happen. Five, just in case. as close to being over us as they're going to get. Wow, how did we... Are we that far? Alright, we better go towards this thing now. It's all in the dark. I wish it wasn't, but... Okay, we're starting to do something here. <laughs> Sorry, this video isn't very exciting. I'm mostly just doing it so I'll have some kind of record of it if I do make it. Actually, I wouldn't be so I think people have done this even with Midmiss, and that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, I've even seen Scott Lanley manage to save, uh, t well, two out of three um, by putting Mechjeb on an RCS tank. And that, was on, and that was for the moon, so that was pretty brilliant. Okay, how are we doing? I remember not really even believing how low gravity Minmus had when it came, when it was well when I got there, which was the very beginning of 0 0.16. Uh, in 15.2, uh, I got my first encounter with it and orbited the thing. But once I was finally, you know, there and walking on it, uh, when EVAs came out. Uh, I couldn't believe how low gravity it had, how e easy it was to land on. This was so easy, it could be done with an EVA pack. And I'm sure Min Missy can do it too, but, you know, I suck. Alright, let's speed this up. This isn't probably the smartest thing to be doing, but screw it, I want to get there now. Check us out on the mini map. Okay, at this rate, I'm actually going to escape Gilly. 
Uh, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> Look at him. He's content. Let's try and correct our orbit a little bit. Alright, well, screw it. That's not gonna do anything at this point. We just need to go right towards it. We have managed pretty well to close this gap so far, but I think we can do better. Uh, my worry right now is we might actually end up coming in over it, which we don't want to do. We also don't want to come in too fast. We don't want to go zipping right by it. You know, in 0 0.18, uh, docking is coming out, um, or at least partial implementation. And uh, that's why I want to practice this kind of thing, but it's going to be really hard. Uh, I, I did manage to get two craft pretty close together once, within a few hundred meters, uh, but they zipped right by each other. I just have no understanding of how it's done. Okay, at this rate it looks like we're going to make it, though. We're actually at the pole, so uh, at the North Pole, so you can see Gilly rotating under us. <sighs> We're gonna have so much horizontal speed when we get there. Two and a half kilometers away now. All right, I can see it. Come on, we're going to get so close. So close indeed. Now I'm looking at slowing down, but it's not quite going that way. No, 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 no! Whoa. See, that's what I was afraid of. Zip right on by. Where is it? Okay. Now we should be in a slightly better position to get back over there. I hope. Oh my god, we have no fuel left. Alright, we might be able to make it still. Oh my god, I don't know how we burn it through almost 40% of our fuel pretty much instantly. Okay, it's going to take us some time, but I think we can do it. <sighs> Quick save. I, I want to warp. I know it's going to take a while, but I'm so I'll, I'll probably speed this up in the video.
extremely close, but also I'm extremely low on fuel. But with 11.8, we should be able to do this. I think we can do it. Uh, there's the hatch right on our side, so that makes things a little more convenient for us. Uh, slowly now. Slowly. Slow down, slow down. Alright. Uh, the thing would have killed us before if we'd hit it. Okay, yes. Yes! <sighs> Bill Kerman, human spaceship. There you go. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks for watching. Uh, that was more nerve-wracking for me than it was for you. Uh, and uh, see you next time if I do another video.